Biohacking is a term used to define ways of controlling and optimizing your biology. It's about improving your health, performance and well-being across all domains. Basically, it's self-upgrading. If you've ever drank coffee, taken some fish oil, gone to a sauna or exercise, then you've already done some biohacking. The most important premise of biohacking is that the way you treat your physiology influences every aspect of your being and performance. What you eat, what activities you do, how you exercise, and what kind of a mindset do you have in general, all can be optimized. Biohacking is about gaining as much results as possible with the least amount of time and effort. That's why it's called biohacking. Here are seven the easiest and most foundational biohacks for everyday use. Number one, meditation. It's not necessarily a spiritual practice, but instead it's a mental technique that allows you to control your mind. There are over 3000 studies all showing that meditation has profound impact on the physical structure of your brain as well as its cognitive performance. It increases grey matter concentration in the brain which is involved in memory, learning, regulating emotions and having perspective. It reduces stress and anxiety which in turn will prevent depression. It may decrease the need for sleep. It enhances your focus and concentration by 10 times and thickens the prefrontal cortex which governs higher executive functioning and cognitive tasks. It increases your pain tolerance and reduces the amount of pain you experience from harmful stimuli. It augments your ability to deal with stressful situations. That pain will make you stronger. Meditation is a practice of self-mastery that allows you to regulate and become more aware of the inner currents of energy inside you. Number two, binaural beats. What makes meditation work so effectively in the first place is that the brain itself goes through several adjustments of its own frequencies. There are several mental frequencies we go through during the day. Delta waves are associated with deep sleep and complete loss of self-awareness. Theta waves are light dreaming, unconscious activities and mental processing. Alpha waves are associated with the meditative state you're awake, but you're completely relaxed. You're in between sleep and waking. In this state, you may experience improved memory recall. Beta waves are your everyday wakefulness and alertness. It's this heightened concentration. Alpha waves can help you establish a meditative state a lot faster. Having some white noise in the background while you're trying to concentrate or work is also a great way to promote productivity. Or if you go to bed at night, then you can use a simple fan to create the white noise background as well. Number three, intermittent fasting. Periodically abstaining from food has profound impact on your body. There are many strategies for this, but you should do it at least in some shape or form. The core idea is that eating less often has more advantages than doing it more frequently. I recommend to fast for at least 14 to 16 hours every day, because think about it. Digesting food itself requires some time, and if you eat at 8 p.m. and start eating eating again at 7 a.m., then you haven't actually gone into a fasted state. Fasting will improve your ability to burn fat for fuel, increase growth hormone, reduce oxidative stress, increase longevity, lifespan, and many other benefits. So you should definitely start doing it. I have a ton of videos on my channel, so check them out. Number four, resistance training. Building muscle is important for more than just vanity. The guns is also essential for longevity and lifespan. Sarcopenia or muscle loss is greatly associated with aging. I mean, you're gonna get weak, frail, you're gonna fall off stairs, back pain, aching joints. They're very much caused by lack of resistance training. Lifting weights will increase your lean body mass, your metabolic rate, insulin sensitivity, bone density, and makes you feel like a badass. Number five, high intensity interval training. Tabata is a method of high intensity training named after the Japanese researcher, Dr. Izumi Tabata. He conducted a study between two groups. The control group did one hour of moderate intensity exercise five times per week. The other group did high intensity interval training or HIT with 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, repeated eight times. In total, the workout lasts for four minutes. The results were quite astonishing. Over the course of six weeks, the control group trained for 1800 minutes versus the 120 minutes of the Tabata group. And what's more, the high intensity group improved their anaerobic performance as well by 28%. 
while still improving their aerobic performance as well. The benefits of HIIT. It increases both aerobic and anaerobic fitness. You spend less time exercising while getting more results. You preserve more muscle mass and torch fat burning. You speed up the metabolism for the upcoming 48 hours because of excessive post-exercise oxygen consumption or EPOC. You increase your mitochondrial density, the power plants of your cells. You cause less damage to your joints and tendons because you don't have to do cardio for hours. And you don't need much equipment for HIIT either. You can do sprints, burpees, kettlebell swings, push-ups, jumping squats, box jumps, whatever. Here's how to do it. You first warm up for, you know, 1-2 to two minutes to get your blood pumping. Then you max out for 20-30 to 30 seconds and you then rest for 10-30 to 30 seconds. You max out again, rest again and you do it for up to 5-10 to 10 minutes. That's all you need actually. But the idea is that you have to make it intense, so intense that your body can't ignore it. But at the same time you have to be aware of your medical condition and fitness. Number 6. Cold Exposure The benefits of cold are immense. Reduces inflammation, boosts the immune system, increases glutathione, increases brown fat. Brown fat increases metabolism and burns energy to produce heat, which doesn't happen with regular white fat. Cold exposure will also increase norepinephrine that will give you more energy and alertness. And what's most important, it teaches your body how to generate its own heat. One hour of head out water immersion in water of 14 degrees Celsius increases metabolic rate by 350%, plasma norepinephrine by 530%, and dopamine by 250%. Of course you can't just plunge into an ice bath right away and stay in it for two hours like Wim Hof. But what you can do instead is to start wearing less clothes overall, sleep with only your bed sheets, take cold showers daily and occasionally have an ice bath and chill the f*** out. Number 7. Flow. Flow is an optimal state of consciousness in which your fully immersed by the activity you're doing. Writers, athletes, dancers, they all get into flow and when they do, then they get access to their, you know, inner creative Da Vinci-like genius. Here's how to enter flow. You need to have a clear set of goals about what needs to be done and how to do it. You need to know your skill level. Flow happens between boredom and anxiety. The task needs to be just hard enough but not too difficult to make you feel frustrated. Take control of your environment. Eliminate all possible distractions that might pull you out of the zone. Then you need to warm up. Start doing the activity slightly, but don't expect to get massive results right away. You have to lose your self-criticism and judgment. Self-reflection and questions of doubt will immediately cancel out flow. There needs to be some struggle and challenge as well, otherwise you'll get bored. And eventually you'll become actively engaged with flow. Flow can never be forced, it kinda just happens. Just do your thing and experiment with your skills. Eventually you should become completely immersed by it. It should be the only thing you think about. You're on acid. By taking control of your environment, by optimizing the state of your physiology and improving your mindset, you can create situations where you can experience more flow. And that's what this channel is all about. It's what I call body-mind empowerment. Improving your physical and mental performance for the purpose of life enhancement. I've also written a free collection of these biohacking principles called the Body-Mind Empowerment Handbook. It gives you the foundation to exercise, nutrition, sleep, mindset augmentation, and other different exercises like we discussed here. So check it out, but also subscribe, click the like, notification bell as well. Thanks for watching, my name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered. Somebody gave you really bad acid. Yeah.